When we start manufacturing an ice castle, it starts out right here. We bring in the frame, it's a tube frame. The tube is our 3 16 tube frame. All the hubs we use now are 3,500 pound hubs for each side. So that frame would carry 7,000 pounds. There's six bolt hubs. We use a multi-leaf spring instead of a single leaf spring. These frames now, we, we, we We've done them so many times, and now we're to the point now where we have very few problems with our frames. Now that we went to all tube frame and the, and the heavier hubs and the, and the six bolt rims. So we feel that we have this down to a science. They pull great. They have the, the axles are in the right spot, so you don't get no swaying or anything going down the highway, and they pull great. And we put the three quarter inch decking Everything is glued on here first and screwed down, okay? And after it's done with doing that, then they put the carpet on. All the walls and everything are built on tables over here. All the cedar that we use and all that stuff is all glued on and then fastened. And then once the walls are built, they take them, they set them on the frame here, put the house all together, so it looks like that when it leaves this station right here. All the ceilings and the bunks and everything are all built back in this area and the house is completely put together back here. Okay, once the house is all put together, then it comes into a station in the main shop here. So they back it into one spot. They run all the wires. Do all the insulating. Every house is house wrap. Insulated, house wrap, wired, all in one station here. Then the siders come, put the siding in. Then the windows go in. And the trimmers are inside, working on the inside as all this is going on. You can see that this is one here that's farther along where they got pretty much most of it all done already. The roof and everything goes on. It stays in one spot till it's completely done. And you can see on this unit here that they're putting the siding on right now. It's all house wrap. There's two ways that we can insulate. If the people want them urethane, we will urethane. We have a urethane system here that we can completely spray the unit. Or we use R7 fiberglass with house wrap. Everything always gets house wrapped at regardless. You know, that's a great windbreaker. You know, once they get them all sided and everything, they put the corners on. These here corners get put on last, the windows go in, everything gets trimmed out. You can look in there, it's trimmed out. This one here will be, be done in another hour or so and this one will be pulled out and completed. All the walls and everything, everything's all screwed together. All the paneling on the ceilings and everything is all glued and nailed. The roofs are a one-piece galvanized metal roof. What we do on the roof, we put a, a plastic vapor barrier down first. Then a blanket of R7 insulation over that, and then the metal roof rolls out over that. It's all a one-piece roof. It's got seams in it, but they're balconized right from the factory. So we've never had any problems with our roof. There was many people asked, why don't you use a rubber roof? Well, I just don't trust the rubber with the environments and stuff. And, uh, We've never had any problems with our galvanized roof, so we're staying there. We have 50 employees, and 90% and of them have worked in the manufactured housing industry, and they all know what they're doing. I mean, we're RVIA certified. They come and check our units every six weeks, make sure everything is being done properly. The last three times they were here, they could not find absolutely anything wrong that we were doing with, with the wiring or as far as anything goes. They had wiring and plumbing in our RV units. Everything was 100%. We're, we're pretty proud of what we built.